is stevia an endocrine disruptor produced by the Chinese pharmaceutical industry. In the 1990s, the FDA banned stevia because of research linking it to cancer and reproductive issues in rodents. This ban was in place until 2008 when the food conglomerate Cargill got the FDA to approve a purified version of stevia called Reb Audioside A under generally recognized as safe status. If you haven't seen my previous videos on this, GRAS status allows food and chemical companies to sell their own ingredients as generally recognized as safe for their intended use without the FDA conducting their own pre-market safety review testing. Today, China produces over 80% of stevia extracts in the world. The single largest stevia manufacturer is SoPure, which is owned by the Chinese pharmaceutical company Zhusheng Haoshin Farm Co. Whole stevia leaves are still banned in food by the FDA because of health concerns. According to two researchers in the 1977 Economic Botany Journal article titled Plants Used as a Means of Abortion, Contraception, Sterilization, and Fecundation by Paraguayan Indigenous People, whole stevia leaves have long been used by women in Paraguay as a contraceptive. Does this mean that the purified steviol glycosides used in an increasing number of foods, drinks, and supplements causes fertility issues in humans? And the answer is not necessarily. Whole stevia leaves are not the same as purified stevia extracts. However, the truth is that we really don't know the full impact of stevia extracts to rule out possible health concerns. A 2016 study found that steviol significantly increased progesterone production by 2.3 fold at 10 parts per million and 5 fold at 25 parts per million. Additionally, steviol induced an agonistic response on cat spur, which is a progesterone receptor of sperm, and that led to a sharp rise in calcium ions. According to the authors, their findings highlight the potential for stevia to act as a potential endocrine disruptor. Just this one finding is not proof or reason enough to totally avoid stevia or make claims that it will definitively disrupt your endocrine system. I am however making the case that we need more research and testing given the rapid increase of stevia in food products. The acceptable daily intake for stevia is 4 mg per kilogram of body weight per day, which is equivalent to 10 mg per kilogram of body weight per day for Reb Audioside A and 10 mg per kilogram of body weight per day for Steviocide. From what I have seen, people with moderate consumption of stevia would not exceed the ADI. The issue is that companies rarely disclose how much stevia is in their products. I believe companies should be required to disclose how much stevia they use on their labels. 